Welcome back to the Burst Mode studio from The Photographer Show, where joining me and Dominic from Epson are some fantastic new printers. Uh, tell me about these uh, cracking new models in the Epson lineup, Dominic. So yeah, these are new flagship A3 and A2 printers. Mm -hmm. They're replacing our um, current very popular P600 and P800. Yeah. So this is the Shaw Color P700, and this is the Shaw Color P900. Um, so A3 and A2, as I say. Um, and they're building on the technology that we've had for the last few years. So um, everything that you know and trust about Epson has mm. been improved upon. Um, you can see there's a brand new design, brand new look and feel of them. Yeah, there's, there's certainly a new design language that yes, Epson's rocking now, yeah. isn't there? Uh, and in terms of the in terms of the internals as well, how is how are one, how are your customers going to get a, a extra value, extra benefit? How is this going to be better for them? So this has got the new technology on the inside has come down from our professional range. Right. So there's a lot of reliability there because it's already tried and tested. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of better value, um, so the printers are more ink efficient. So okay. they'll find their running costs should reduce. Mm -hmm. um, because of the new user interface, they're easier to use yeah. as well, so there should be less wastage. Um, but overall, they're just really neat packages. They're smaller, they're 30% lighter, they're 30% smaller. Right. So if you are in a small studio or in a home environment, then you know it frees up a bit more space for you there as well. So even though new products, new design, new insides as well, it doesn't mean that you know, it, it's a new set of problems or new no. set of worries for customers. It's very much something they can trust. Uh, so just, just chat us through this model that uh, is in front of us right now, because we've got the, the paper feeder at the back yes. here. It's, it, it's quite a substantial model. Yeah, so it, it effectively comes in two parts. You've got the main printer here, and then this is actually an optional roll um, adapter. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do panoramic prints or you've right. got multiple of the you know, prints you want to do, again, it can be more efficient to do it on a long roll than mm -hmm. it can on individual sheets. Um, but otherwise, you'd normally load your cut sheet media yep. in the top here as you would with a traditional printer. On the front here, the whole front lifts up now. There we are. And right, there we go. And you've got the ink bays at the front here. So you've got oh, our... Yeah. Our new 10 color ink system. So this 10 is color ink system. Ten. Right, go on. Go we've on. got Tell me about that. We've got an additional violet ink in here now. Um, so that's extending the blue gamma area. Mm -hmm. So that improves upon, again, the existing color gamma that you can reproduce. It's just widening that out even further. Also, one of the big things that a lot of users will be excited about, I'm sure, is the fact that it is a true 10 channel head now. Right. So there's no black ink switching between the matte black and photo black. Uh -huh. Um, so we've improved upon that on both machines as well. So not only have you got 10 colors, it's 10 channels. Um, so it, it's much easier and uh, again, much more economic in that respect. Um, so you're going to get much improved quality. Again sure. In there. Uh, and in terms of the uh, A2 to the A3, same same kind of differences really in there in terms of inks yeah. and so on? Yeah, absolutely. They use the same ink set um, right. between them. Um, so it, it's the same color set. It very much, it's all about the size. Yeah. So the, the 900 does have a higher capacity ink set in there. Yeah. So again, you get more uh, economy from having the bigger ink cartridges. The 700 does now also have a um, maintenance tank, ah. uh, which is reuse, replaceable, use right. replaceable. So again, a lot of people will like that. So it's nice and easy, just tucked away on the front there. Yeah. Um, so again, it's taking a lot of the technologies from the bigger machines and bringing it down to the smaller um, products as well. You know, it, it, it always excites me at the photography show because so much, you know, we, we concentrate on input and obviously the body and the lenses and the accessories and so on, but the output is so important as well. Talk to me finally, Dominic, about availability of your new range. So these are literally, we were going to announce on the photography show, it was going to be the global launch. We were oh. all really excited. We we're all really hyped up. These machines actually only even landed in the country on Tuesday last week. Right. So that's how brand new they are. Um, and so we were all really excited. They won't actually be available to buy until uh, late April mm -hmm. uh, for this one and late May for this one. Um, so we've got a couple of more months yet before we can really, you know, uh, get them out there. But, you know, I personally will be out on the road visiting resellers and events and things like that with these machines so users can come see them. If they see that Epson's going to be at an event, they should be able to see these machines available for that. Which makes it even more of a privilege for us to have you and your new kit here Absolutely. in the studio with us. Dominic, thank you very much indeed for joining us here at Burst Mode. Uh, thank you. Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks for bringing in your new kit. That's no, great, thanks for having us.